Okay, so it is 1.32 and I have a date at 6.30 and I have nothing to wear so we're gonna make a dress for it. I don't know why I have this camera on the tripod and I still have to bend over. And I seem so far I can't even see myself. Okay, whatever. So let's see what we have to do. The first thing you have to do is measure. Do I have paper? I'm so not prepared as per usual. But I wasn't gonna film this by the okay, you know what? Let me get you closer so you don't have to bend over. I don't care. No. We have this. And we have this. Okay. So the first thing you have to do is measure myself. So y'all actually have to see me full of this, so let's get to a proper location. This is what the dress is going to look like. It's going to have a straight neckline. It's going to be long and it looks basic, but the back is going to be like, boom. Okay, wait, 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 come on back, come on. boom. Okay, okay. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Boom, you see that? You see that back? It's going to be like a low school back and it's going to be like a little tight, tight, tight there. And I have to draw hair on the back of her so you can see that, you know, it's the back. But that's what it's going to look like. Yes, oh my God, my dogs. And the red lines are the measurements that we need and you're going to see me doing them while we're doing the patterns. Okay? I used the edge of the paper as the center front and I went to a quarter of my hip measurement and drew a line 51 inches along the length of the paper. The 51 inch measurement is the length of the dress and I drew the line lightly indicating that this is 10.5 inches out from the center front going all the way up 51 inches. At the top of the dress, I got the measurement for this part from measuring armpit to armpit and then dividing it by two and subtracting it by one inch. I drew the line perpendicular to the center front. So mine was 11, so it will be five and a half. For the next line, which is the bust, I divided my front bust measurement by two. To know how low the bust is, I just measured from my armpit height to the widest part of my bust, which is usually the nipple area. Mine was four inches. So I went down four inches from that part, and then I drew a curve. At this point, I'm just making sure my fabric is stretchy enough to still fit me if I remove an inch or two. It's a bit stretchy, so I subtracted one inch from the bust bust bleh. I subtracted one inch from the bust measurement. I went down 11 inches from the neckline at the center front and this will be where my base is. After that, I divided my front base measurement by two and I subtracted three quarters of an inch from that measurement and I marked it on the paper. Right now, we're just gonna draw a gradual curve from the waist to the bust line. Usually from your waist to your hip is seven inches. So at the center front line, we're gonna go down seven inches from the waist and mark it on the first line we drew. I then connected that mark to the waist with a gradual curve again. Everyone's shape is different, so your pattern may not exactly look like mine. At the bottom of the dress, I added half of an inch for the hip. I decided to go in one inch at the hip, so I will do that first line we did in the beginning. We're gonna fold the pattern on this new line. After folding, I cut out the upper portion of the dress to the hip line. Mark the waist and then I unfolded the pattern. Then I take the upper part together as shown. Then I try to draw a slope to start to resemble a screw back. <laughs> where the left side of the pattern is folded is where the center back plane is. I mark down three and a half inches from the waist at the back and that's how low the scoop will be. I suggest you do 2.5 inches or less. So recap, we tape the top part together and we're gonna bring it down like that. When it's closed, it should meet back up. So, so imagine we pinch that together. Right here. That's where it should Hit. So this this is the center back and it's gonna go shoot Yeah 
and then here and match back up and here now if you have a butt it's suggested you do what i'm doing right now if you don't have a butt you can keep it straight going down but this is gonna have to be a seam so we're not gonna cut it on the fold only because the straps that i'm doing i don't think it's gonna be long enough i mean if you if you can get really really long straps um for like the binding then that's fine you don't have to do center back but because i have a butt and i don't know if my straps gonna be long enough i need to have a center back so this is the base and we know that seven inches down from the base is the hip area so waist and seven inches down right there then across is the hip area so i go three eighths of an inch to half an inch at the top of the scoop and at the hip i bent out three quarters of an inch to an inch or more depends on how big your body so i just added some extra at the back for my bum and i just tapered it off maybe about 10 inches below the hip so again here's the hip went to like three quarters of an inch or an inch depends on how big our butt is and i just tapered it down and this is how it would have been if it's tapered up to the base so now i'm going to add seam allowance to the back here so like probably like a quarter of an inch went all the way down you don't need to add seam allowance here because it's going to have the binding and you have to add the half inch hem and then we can cut this out So this is how it looks. Um, the front you're going to cut on the fold, which is the fold, so center front. <laughs> and this is the back. And I defined, I get, made it darker, the center back line. So I just did it in red so we know how to line at the back. Don't forget to mark where the base is and where the hip is because it's going to be very hard to match it back up if you don't know where these things are. Very interesting. This is so thin here that hmm, I should have made this thicker. Hmm, I should have made that thicker. Okay, nothing can do it. No, or I should have at least added some seam allowance, but okay. Where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't keep track of them all From people dropping a bomb To people putting up walls I feel like life is on haul Perception stuck in a vault I know that time can heal all But how much time till we fall? It's awfully chilly outside When there's no shelter to hide When everything is a lie You'll find that out in some time But when the things on your mind Are all considered a crime Communication aside We'll all just fight till we die Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? Either way I don't wanna be a part of it Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this I can't be picking up the pieces Fixing scars from this Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? I wanna drive away So I can be so far from it I wanna find a place Where no one breaks their promises Or maybe drown myself In something that is bottomless Take me back to a place Where I felt at home Take me back to a day When we weren't alone Take me back to an age When the world felt small 
Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back Let's before go. we blew it all I know that things seem bad but they could be much worse There's always someone else who has a greater curse a greater thirst, a hunger, pain, and mirth Just find whatever you got and try to be thankful first I wanna feel again, I need a couple friends I never really understood just how the story ends But I could feel it's tense, don't know the consequence The volatility of life, my only confidence Is this an argument, or just the start of it? Either way, I don't wanna be a part of it Can I just get some space? I don't have the heart for this I can't be picking up the pieces, fixing scars from this Is this it's an argument, or just the start of it I wanna drive away so I can be so far from it I wanna find a place where no one breaks their promises Or maybe drown myself in something that is bottomless Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day and then the straps will be like here. So the side, so this is the waist. Oh, this is definitely not what I was expecting. So this was, shouldn't, shouldn't be here. I don't know what I did. How I drew it out. Maybe I drew it too far down. But this shouldn't be here. I won't, actually wanted it to come from here and come all the way down. Because see how scoop back is, the back is like, yeah. So I wanted to come here and go all the way down. But we don't have any time, so we're gonna have to work with this. I don't have, I mean, all I have to do is cut it, but whatever. Okay, and then I can't really show you the back. So we're gonna have to change out what we're doing because of this part here. So instead of me doing a strap that was gonna go all the way here and then along the back, I'm gonna close the back here and then do a strap that comes here around and then do another one that comes from here going all the way around uh okay let me let me look at this because i'm looking at the viewfinder and i can't see crap because i don't have my glasses so let's see how it looks in the mirror i'm just gonna be feeling around with this for a bit okay What we're going to do now is we're going to add the neckline, add the neckline binding here. The binding machine um, stitched it a little high up. So I just gave it another stitch on my straight machine just to bring it down a little bit. I'm going to have to adjust it when I'm doing that set, the next set of binding. But this is what the top looks like now. So I decided to eat some breakfast. And while eating breakfast, while not eating, while making the, my pancakes, which is why they're a little burnt, I heard a kitten outside. I ran outside. I will show you her. Yeah, I'm going to show you her. It, I don't know what. I think it's a her because it has three colors. And it's so cute. Oh crap, I gotta get that one spade. Okay, anyways, yeah. I heard a kitten and I won't say to see it because one of our cats. Was pregnant and she didn't bring the kittens around for a bit and she's a stray so of course you know i can't find her inside the house pepsi pepsi i'm speaking so why am i showing my food okay let's go look at the kitten i'm talking too much right so the, the whole point of that is that i went looking for the kitten and my, my waffles got burnt but let's go look at the kitten Now we're gonna close up the bat. I'm not even gonna bother to pin because it's like it's almost five o'clock now and I have to be out of the house by 6 30. So let's just hope I do this right. Okay, now let's try it on. Okay, so this is it on who has the hiccups huh and okay so we have this part here and then it's supposed to come like here and then we're gonna have a little part to loop back there but as you can see right here is a little loose so i'm thinking i may just cut off this entire side here 
because they remember we just have like this seam I'm coming closer the seam here that is really like is nothing it's pretty much nothing because I messed up the pattern so I'm gonna just like, cut that off and then when I get here probably just cut this part off too <laughs> we have no time to be fits in patterns right now okay look at the back oh look at the back of that boom okay so we're gonna cut off these little sides here and i think i'm gonna make the hip part tighter what do y'all think like no it's fine it's fine it doesn't need to be tighter than this yeah um so we're gonna cut off these side pieces here and then i'm gonna do the binding going around here but i like how deep it is because my butt crack is like right there it's looking good it's looking good right okay okay so this is the side and see here is where it was literally nothing and we stitched, stitched it anyway so what i'm gonna do is cut this off you relax relax okay so we're gonna cut this off because it makes no sense having that there and then when i go to bind it what am i doing okay okay let's just cut that to there You're not going outside, Apache, because the kitten is outside and you all have zero chill. Okay. So now I have to come start here and I have to come all the way around with the binding. All the way around the back scoop. All the way around to this other side. Let's bind. So now we have to do the neck piece. So this is the side seam of the neck piece. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna have a little bit so enough that I can loop here. We're going to do it like um, probably like one and a half inches free. And then we're gonna go here and just do the entire length of this strap for the rest. Um, so wish me luck, cause this has been giving me issues. So I took my babies for their dirty walk until they decided to start fighting each other. <sighs> okay, so let me show you what it's looking like now. So this is the part we just did. So you have this extra piece and then this long strap, which I hope is long enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the other side, but we're going to get this piece that's the extra and just we're going to do like a little loop like this. And we're going to stitch it. Right there because this is gonna go right back through here like that see and don't worry that it has a little bunch in here because by the time you stretch that ish it's gonna look good so now we're gonna do the other side here and then i'll stitch that little and then we're gonna add some loops here at the waist to make sure it's nice and tight all right so let's go do this right now also, I'm using a machine that does binding, but you don't need that. You can easily get this, which is elastic binding. So you get it, you fold it, so that the fabric is... Sorry, I'm using my phone, so I have to hold one hand. So it'll literally be folded on the ultra part. Fat. Okay, fold. Right. And you stitch it down. So it's literally the same thing as what I'm doing, but I don't know where my black is. And I more than likely do not have enough black. So there's a matte side and a stretchy side. What? There's a matte side and a silky side, shiny side. So you can like do it on the matte side. Okay, so you don't need a special machine. So we're gonna get this end and we're gonna go like, and we're gonna go right here. And this is how it looks. So since that's done, I'm at my waist now. This is the waist part. Let me get the excess here that we have. And I'm going to fold it like this. I'm going to stick it under here by the waist. So you see, that's how it's going to go. I'll probably make it a little smaller. Shove that in there. And now I'm going to stitch going across here. 
I make it longer at the back so I'm not like scotching to get any fabric. So let's stitch that down now. That was not the easiest thing to do so I'm going to hand baste it into place first and then I'm going to stitch it. So this is how the little loop part looks. I need to cut off this excess thread. So the dress is finished, so now we just need to hem it. So I'm just gonna cut off the excess at the bottom. I think I should make it tighter. You know what? Yeah, let's make it a little tighter. It needs, it needs to be tighter, so let's go make it tighter first. Okay, now let's hem it. I was trying to figure out if I should do a split or not, but I don't know. I don't know if I don't. Okay, I don't know. Don't look at my boobies. Okay, back at this machine. So, this is my other cover stitch machine. So, I'm just going to fold it under and just hem it about half of an inch because that's how we did the seam allowance. Okay, so just fold it like that. Tuck it under here. Okay. And the dress is done. It looks pretty basic right now, but it's done. So let's go get ready. You're going to be getting ready with me today. So the first thing we're going to do you're going to figure out what to do with my hair. We're going to spray my hair with water and we're going to tie it down and then we're going to shower. And then we're going to get out of the shower and figure out what to do with this hair. All right, so let's do that. All right, we showered. You did something. Oh, why is this? I want manual focus. I need to moisturize my face or like put on a primer or something. This feels like so soft on my face. And I was trying to figure out if I should do, mm, I was trying to figure out if I should do like a red lip and like a matte face or just like a glowy face. You know what? I'm going to do a glowy face because if I do the red lip and I'm eating, then it's going to come off. And my lashes are jacked so i got to put on lashes because my extension, my extension appointment isn't until next week. Alright. So let me put on some concealer because we have some contacts to choose from, from Dr. Lee. So I'm going to show you the contacts and then we can decide together which ones look best. Ew, why is my Fenty Beauty dripping? Ew. Mm -mm. I have a Juvia's Place concealer. Okay, this one may work. We don't have that. So we're going to put on the concealer and then we're going to try on these contacts. Not doing my full face and then try on the contacts. We're gonna do the concealer, then try on the contacts. Because if I do my whole makeup and then the contacts make my eyes watery, ew. All right, so let's try on these contacts, okay. So let's go from the most dramatic to the least dramatic. So let's start with this one. I should probably have the names of them up. Okay, so this one is Polar Light Yellow Green. Hmm. Okay, so I don't usually like like really light colors because I think they're gonna make me like a, a lizard. Oh, and let me just show you. They come with they come in a case, and it has something that you put the contact lens out with. Well, this one is like when you put it out of your eye, and then this one is like when you're like chucking in your eye. But I don't use those. I just use my nails, and it comes with a case, so. So this is the polar yellow green and I thought this was going to be scary. I thought I was going to look like a, a lizard but it's not really that bad, you see? If this is right, I need to do my makeup. Okay. And I thought it was going to be bad. So it's not as bad as, you know? 
So let's take this out and try Vega Brown. And fuck up the place. I like this. This is something I can see myself wearing every single day. So this is the winner for now. We are going to take this one out and we're going to put in the MI06. And I like this one. Okay. So this one is the MI... Oh, my MI06. Now I don't know if it's supposed to be Halloween lens or not. Because it, it, it's quite scary. It's, it's quite scary. But I... I sort of like it. <laughs> I sort of like it, mommy. Put back on some little concealer on the eye. I'm gonna be late. <laughs> okay, okay. You know what this is gonna be good for? Instagram pictures. I'm gonna kill these in Instagram pictures. These look so cool. Especially if you put a, like, a little filter on it. Like a academia filter, that's how you pronounce it, academia. Or something. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can't tell me these ain't cool. I like some of her Twilight. <gasps> oh, I like these. I like these. I, I know y'all think I'm crazy, but I like these. Mm. And raise your sets? Yes. Yes, yes. Instagram pictures it is. The last one is the Aurum Aurum Brown. I think these are the most basic ones I got. So let's see how these look because I thought the other ones were going to be outrageous and they were very, very subtle. So let's see how these ones look. Be right back. Oh, yo, jeez. Oh, my God. Yes. Okay. Okay, bye. Talking too much like a tongue get touched. And this is the arm brown. Okay, you know what? I need to go and exfoliate the bottom of my face and come back. I like these for like every day. Can you see them properly? I like these for every day. I like these ones. Okay, so it's between these ones and the yellowish brown ones for like every day the first ones mm, mm, they don't really pull me i think those will look amazing on like probably like gray or blue eyes but the last three yes and my little scary twilight ones i'm gonna be using those all on my instagram picture so stay tuned oh god yes. so i'm gonna put back on the yellow ones because i like those ones and i'm gonna wear those tonight and i'm gonna scrub my face oh scrub my face it looks awful. We're gonna fix this. I just gonna make this so ashy. Oh. I don't have anything darker than this. This does not look like my colors. Wait. Okay. Trust the process. Trust the process. Let me see. Oh no. See, I haven't worn makeup in so long that I don't know what I'm doing. Clearly, these are not my colors. Huh. It's a little red, but let's mix it with what I have and see if it works. Alright. Let's just smash that up. Oh, there we go. Much better. Look, why this thing. I don't want manual, fuck, I don't want manual, stay there, I don't know where you're going also. Why, why are you moving? I think it's quite ashy. Okay, no, okay, no, no, okay, it's not looking too bad, no. Okay, 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 whatever. Okay, this, 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 this. This is not working for me. I come back. I have no time to be doing any big certain makeup look, so let's just like go really quickly, figure out what we're doing. Try and like bronze up my face because I look ashy as fuck. I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place. My Juvia's Place in Deep Dark. 
What? Listen to me. Relax, camera. And I have bronzing brush and a bronzing brush. So let's like let's like color my face a little bit. Let me let me let's get back up in here. As you can see, I've never used these before, so I hope. Hmm. You doing something? The whole fact that I did not even put concealer up here and up there is ashy. Okay, let me just like look down here. Maybe this is too bright. Yeah, hold on, let me. I got me looking stink, and I think I looking cute. Oh. <laughs> yeah okay so i don't have to put all that thing on my face just now okay let's i just did my my um baby hairs i gotta do them over okay we're back in motion yeah okay okay let's do this quickly i can't talk anymore yeah look how can the better we have it the more we can play about how little we have how come it took me to 30 to cherish some minutes to spend with my dad? Feel like I know that I want him, but worry my kids will be holding me back. I treat my vices like jackets, I'll always be ready if weather goes bad. I said, I know a guy who's addicted to bags. I know a girl who's addicted to bags. I got a friend who just sits in the cash. Pick your reflection and run off a grass. I said, I know a guy who just ain't 20 sad. I know a girl trying to look like the max. I got a friend who's defined by his abs. What do you poison? What do you have? I like to sleep on the couch. Do it a decent amount. I know they're bad for my soul, so why I keep seeking them out? I do not sit with the silence, no, number my mind with the violence. I am addicted to binge and anything putting the stuff to my thinking. Why is it all of the things that are killing me seem to be what I be craving? Why is it always the money that anyone else is the one that I'm blaming? Why do I fall for a woman as soon as I feel like I think I can save her? Lately my mood is as black as a wave and wonder what's up with me, baby, you name it. Oh, paranoia from that good, good. You don't see under my hood, hood. Feeling the angst from that caffeine tired, but why, what's that mean? Don't with these people, I'm good. Lately as hell when I'm I'm getting sick of the... Okay. So, we're going to try on the dress now. We're going to try on the dress now. I'm excited and I'm late, but the food isn't gonna be ready anyways. <laughs> Bye. Okay, this entire next part got deleted, but I tried on the dress, it looked basic as crap, and you know what we do? No, we do not do basic. So I added the split. Mm. And this is how the split looks. I should probably press it, but I have no time. Oh, let me see. Okay, nice and flat. Let's do this and leave this house. Bye. Mm.
Only I won't let you control me at the end of the day